And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos, I'm Avier once again, and I welcome you back to Jack and Daxter in the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we entered Gaul and Maya's Citadel. And as you can see, it's a full-fledged level with five power cells, one being the Scout Flies and the four Sages. Why don't we go ahead and get started in saving them. Now this level is a little different in the sense that um, you will be going to four different areas and performing a set of challenges to get to each stage, that's how you get each power cell, uh, but you will want to keep in mind that you are collecting everything as you go along, so that is one thing you want to just note so that you don't get lost. Alright, let's follow the power cells because that'll lead, the, not power cells, the precursor orbs, because that, that'll lead us where we want to go. And you want to keep a track of where you have and haven't been. I understand it's a bit difficult because of the... Well, the fact that everything's kind of moving along and it's platforming in general, but um, do your very best to try and keep track. I know for a fact I'm about to get lost majorly, but uh... Well, I'm back at the beginning. That's another thing you're going to have to note. There are very few checkpoints in this area aside from transitional periods, so uh, you're just going to have to keep in mind that uh, any little slip up on this final level could be a problem, and that's a... Uh, well, one thing I haven't dropped... Uh, problem with older games in general is that checkpointing never really seemed like a thing. I guess I'm spoiled by uh, modern day uh, checkpoint systems where I feel as if, like, if I screw up, I have a chance to really get my trial and error going. But um, in this in this specific instance, that's not exactly the case. All right, let's jump up here. Continue to fall fly along. No, wait, that was a mistake. And, hey, look, it's the beginning. I'll meet you right there. Uh, we made it, and now I can actually try this because... Oh my god, what? Oh! <laughs> can you tell there's going to be a lot of cutting? All right, we're not screwing it up this time. Oh my god, can you tell there will be a ton of cutting? Oh my god. I fell a few times just getting there from be not being cut. Anyway, uh, we just want to follow the... No! Oh, thank god. That was stupid. All right, let's jump on there. Bam, bam, bam. I screwed it up. God, I really like this level. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm not good at them. Oh my God, and getting those orbs at the same time. Oh, that is a nightmare. It is nightmare from Soul Calibur. Also, I was recently playing a ton of Soul Calibur this weekend, so you'll forgive me if I make a reference to Soul Calibur, which I just did, so you've forgiven me. Oh my god, made it! Yes! Not the t traditional weapon. Uh, did I get everything? Uh, looks like it. Okay, cool. We did it! Hooray! Now let's make it through here. And we got these to worry about, but with these also comes a ton of enemies! Alright, you can see them. There they come! The fluffy things! They are coming! Alright, we have the ability to ward them off with fireballs here. Alright, can... Are they infinite? I don't remember. They look like they're infinite. But at the same time, they might not be. And I'm just being silly. Alright. Alright, hang on. We gotta go back. Gotta go back. All right, that's fine. There's, they are, they look to be infinite probably until I get up there. But uh, with the fireball, yellow eco to be exact, um, I should be a okay to just keep spamming and make it here without too much of a problem. All right, that's everything along the way. So what do we have in here? It looks like break. 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 Ray, we broke something. And that stops them from spawning, yes? Yes? Good. Now, did I get everything on the way here? Yes, I did. Good. Let's exit here. And we get more platforming. Wonderful. That's what I always, what I always wanted. I mean, I expected platforming in a platformer. Those who didn't get to... Aww. Wait a second, really? All the way back here? Oh, that is, that is unforgiving. That is really unforgiving. Luckily, I don't have to collect everything. Do I have to fight the guys again? 
No, it looks like they don't come out of us, so I guess if you make it past these parts, it's not terrible, but my god. The other problem I'm having right now is, remember, I am splitting my co my focus into commentary as well that is somewhat relevant. Some of it is going to be oohs and grunts, but at least, like, it'll be somewhat cohesive into, to someone viewing. Uh, regardless, we found our first sage. Let's break this, get a power cell, and see what it has to get, what he has to offer us. <laughs> you finally come to rescue me. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? Enough. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Jeff. He's with Raven. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help you open the shield door. Alright then, we did that. Uh, also, did you see what happened to Jack's foot? Jack's left foot looked very weird in that cutscene. Uh, regardless, let's go ahead and grab this, which should lead us where? Where are you taking me? Is this the entrance? This looks like the entrance. No, this is not the entrance. Where am I? Alright, well, regardless of where I am, let's go ahead and activate some of these along the way. And, yeah, we go. That's nice. Alright, where indeed am I? Okay. Ah, I see. So, that's where we were, and we're gonna continue to go left. So let's keep going left, because I, I got the scout fly, which was the intended method. Now we're over here, and that looks to be leading us somewhere. Uh, let's take it. It uh, looks like it's going to be freeing that sage up there. Blue sage, looks like, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell from here. All right, going to go grab this one, grab this one, grab yellow, and we're back with the... Hang on a second. Where's the platform? Where? Oh, there it is. That was a little freaky, not gonna lie. My goodness, I had a light panic attack. A very light one, but nonetheless, it was a panic attack. Ah, oh, all right. Take two. It's kind of, that's the, I guess one part I don't like about this level is the checkpointing because of honestly how skewed it is. Uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh -oh. No, there. Okay, actually, no, this is not terrible because I can just put the platforms back. Jump and jump back. Yay for free thinking! Okay, I do remember this. This 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 specific place is a bit annoying. Me. They have to do this entire room in one sitting. Well, you had to do the other one sitting, but this one's just frustrating in the sense that it's just full on clunky platforming. Uh, well, I guess I can't say clunky. It feels clunky to me, if only because I'm not good at it. And that could be very, re very big reason as to why it feels clunky, but uh, I don't know. It just the difficulty spike in this area in general just seems a bit much. But it is the final level, and I will give it that. I could just be talking out of my ass. Um, I don't remember having too much trouble with it before, so it could just be that. Uh, oh my goodness, I almost fell. It's really an area that you need to be patient in, and patience is rewarded by success. All right, let's go ahead and make our way up here, up here. Let's go ahead. All right, and did I get everything on the way up? Looks like it. I want to be thorough because if it'd be nice to not have to worry, honestly, about um failure. All right, I can see you over there. Alright, we need to... Oh my god, hang on a second, I see you here. There's blue eco right here, though, which I can use, so... Um, we're gonna grab it and make our way back, and that should open it up. Yeah, here we go. I'm not sure that's the intended method, but it's the method I am using nonetheless. Hooray! Uh, how are we, how are we doing? I'm, uh, I have 92 out of 200. Uh, and with that, we free the next sage and get us another power cell. Good work, fellas. Old Samus was right about you. Great piles of precursor metal. That insidious mechanical creation must 
not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh, yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! <laughs> I love the humor in this game. Uh, you know, it's not very a noteworthy story type of game. It's a very uh, simple plot. You know, simple is not bad, but this is definitely one of the simpler ones. And uh, I, if you if you're looking for a plot in the Jack games, I recommend sticking around. I will do the, the next two Jack games. Jack Two in particular is a wonderful story that, with a nice set of twists and turns, that. Uh, Truth be told, you anyone will really enjoy, and it's a much more mature game. It is rated T instead of uh, E, which is nice to see. Uh, they definitely took a different turn with the game as well. Uh, the games feel a lot more like Grand Theft Auto light games than they do the platforming collectathon that the first game is. All right, enough about Jack Two, however. Why don't we continue talking about Jack and Daxter? Uh, clearly, I need to make my way up that way. So uh, why don't why don't we? Let's go ahead and jump over here. And jump on. Yes! That was a little close for cup. Camera! What are you doing? You silly camera, you. Alright, let's make our way in here. This feels very familiar, though. It doesn't. I'm sure it's new. This is new? Yeah, this is new. This is gonna be the fun platforming with Blue Eco. So let's go ahead and use that and jump! And luckily for me, we will suck the orbs to us. Jump! And land, set them up, and now it's time of actually just landing on the platforms. All right, jump, wee, and we land just nicely. We're gonna suck that blue eco into us, and now we gotta wait just a little longer before we're in the clear and jump again. Land about here. Whoa, wait, why am I landing twice? Why did I jump again? Wait a second, game, I didn't do that. That was not the intended method. And jump. At this point, they're noticing you're probably not going to have uh, the blue eco completely filled like you did before, so they're not putting in a bunch of precursor orbs. That is good game design. So we would praise Naughty Dog for it. And I mean, I mean, Naughty Dog has never been bad with level design. Even the Uncharted and La The Last of Us, uh, for what their respective genres are, have really good level design. And well, can we expect anything else from the creators of Crash Bandicoot? Oh, shit. That was a little silly, thank God. Uh, let's wait just a little wee longer to get over here, and that'll bring us where we want to be. Sadly, though, it doesn't appear like we have any blue eco to get us into this. But will this provide us any blue eco? It does, like it should. So we'll just run on back and activate this switch. Was there one with the yellow, s uh, with the red sage? Because I'm a little worried now that there might be, there might have been, and I just messed it up. Uh, I guess I'll learn soon, won't I? But regardless, we read another sage. Well then, looks like we're now able to free the Green Sage, who was our beloved friend. Beloved is the word we would use, most certainly. Uh, where would this lead me? Hang on, is that the beginning? That's another area. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that just yet. Instead, we're gonna platform this way because we can platform this way, and that's gonna be a thing. Also, you might notice this le this episode is running a bit long. Um, I am running it to the point where my, how did I miss that? Oh my goodness. Uh, I am running it to the point where we complete this area to a certain point because, uh, well, I don't really want to have a massive uh, cliffhanger here. Uh, that would just get annoying more than anything. Uh, now this is the entrance, is it not? This leads to, leads to a scout fly, I remember that. And this is the entrance. 
Uh, kind of. It's kind of an entrance. Regardless, let's make our way back over here. Uh, you can see them all using their say their their stuff. Um, oh my God, that was close. That was very close indeed. All right, let's go ahead and jump on down. I actually don't recognize where I am at the moment. Um, and double jump, and yellow, double jump, hooray. Okay, um, oh wait, isn't that the beginning? Hang on, that's not the beginning though. Uh, where am I standing right now? I just need a bit of my, we're gonna keep going left, most certainly. I'm just a little confused is all. Oh, that, that is the entrance, hang on. What are you there? I'm a little confused as to what what's happening right now. I recognize you. This is the left, the right, the left area instead of the right area. Um, that's where I. No, this is where I went to just go save him, isn't it? I'm going to assume so, but I am going to double check. So give me one second because I must confirm my suspicions. It definitely feels. Yeah, I've been down here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just double checking because the way this felt was a little weird. Okay, and that didn't make it at all because I'm a terrible person. And oh, hey, we're back here. Blue Eco will be my salvation back to save the Green Sage. All right. That was just stupid. That was really stupid of me. I am a terrible human being. Let's just let's just get over that. And we. Alloop. All right, now I guess we just keep going a direction until we find salvation in the platforms that we created when saving the other sages. I just gotta find out where those platforms are. That would be the key here. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's just we fall down this path, we'll find them. If we don't, I mean, what are we doing with our lives? Nothing, that's what we're doing. But, you know, Kira wanted us to save the Green Sage. You know, she wants us to save the other sages too, but the Green Sage is, um, well, her father. I, I don't know if that's really her father. That's something I guess I will learn one day. Maybe. All right. And we keep going up. And now we got more platforming. Hang on, can't I just make that pretty easily without any problems? Yeah. No problems at all with that. And I just need to scout fly, but I also need a camera to cooperate. Where is life taking me? Oh, oh, I'm going that way. That's where I'm going. I see. <laughs> well, in the next episode of Jack and Daxter and the Precursor Legacy, we're going to finish exploring this area and probably confront Goal. I'll see you all next time.